Bedrock Linux is one of those rare projects in the Linux world that completely challenges the way people think about what a Linux distribution actually is. Instead of asking users to choose between Arch, Debian, Ubuntu, Fedora, Gentoo, or any other distro, Bedrock Linux asks a much deeper question. Why choose at all? The idea behind Bedrock Linux is simple in concept, but extremely powerful in practice. It allows you to use components from multiple Linux distributions simultaneously on a single system, blending them together into what feels like one unified operating system. This makes Bedrock Linux less of a traditional distribution and more of a meta distribution, or even a framework that lets you build your own Linux environment out of the best parts of many others. To understand Bedrock Linux properly, it helps to first understand the traditional Linux distribution model. Normally, when you install Linux, you pick a distro that defines almost everything about your system. Your package manager, your init system, your core utilities, your repositories, and even your philosophy of updates and stability are all tied to that one choice. If you pick Arch Linux, you get rolling releases, Pac-Man, and bleeding edge software. If you pick Debian, you get apt, conservative updates, and a focus on stability. Ubuntu gives you Debian-based convenience with Canonical's tooling and regular releases. Gen2 gives you source-based customization. Each of these choices has strengths and weaknesses, and traditionally, choosing one means accepting its downsides along with its advantages. Bedrock Linux was created to break that limitation. The project was started by a developer known as Parasec, who wanted a way to combine the best features of different distributions without maintaining a full fork or reinventing everything from scratch. Instead of building a new distro with its own packages and repositories, Bedrock Linux takes an existing Linux installation and transforms it. You don't install Bedrock Linux the same way you install Ubuntu or Fedora. Instead, you install a normal distro first and then you hijack it with Bedrock. After this process, your system becomes a Bedrock Linux system and the original distro becomes what Bedrock calls a stratum. A stratum, in Bedrock terminology, is essentially a Linux distribution environment that lives inside your Bedrock system. Each stratum retains its own package manager, repositories, and userland tools. For example, you might have an Arch stratum, a Debian stratum, and an Ubuntu stratum all coexisting on the same machine. Bedrock then carefully integrates these strata so that they can share the same kernel, file system, and running system while remaining logically separate where it matters. One of the most impressive aspects of Bedrock Linux is how seamless this integration can be. After setting up multiple strata, you can install software from different distributions and use them side by side. You might install your desktop environment from Arch because it's newer and more feature-rich while using Debian's stable libraries for critical system components and Ubuntu's packages for proprietary drivers or third-party software that targets Ubuntu specifically. To the user, this often feels like magic because commands just work, applications launch normally, and the system behaves like a single coherent Linux install rather than a messy collection of crudes or containers. Technically, Bedrock Linux achieves this through a clever combination of file system tricks namespace management, and wrapper utilities. It does not rely on heavy virtualization or containers like Docker or LXC. Instead, it uses lightweight methods such as bind mounts and symbolic links to present a unified file system hierarchy. Bedrock intercepts certain commands and decides which stratum should handle them. For example, when you run a package manager like apt or pacman, Bedrock ensures that the command operates within the correct stratum and does not interfere with others. The kernel is shared across all strata, which is a key design decision. This means that you only have one running kernel at a time, typically provided by one chosen stratum. This keeps performance overhead extremely low, making Bedrock Linux feel just as fast as a traditional distro. There is no emulation and no duplicated kernels running in parallel. Everything runs natively on the hardware. One of the most appealing use cases for Bedrock Linux is solving compatibility problems. Linux users often encounter situations where a piece of software is officially supported only on a specific distribution. For example, a vendor might provide .deb packages for Ubuntu but nothing for Arch, or a tool might be easily available on Arch's AUR but outdated or missing on Debian stable. With Bedrock Linux, you can simply add the relevant distribution as a stratum and install the software there without having to reinstall your entire operating system or resort to virtual machines. Another major advantage of Bedrock Linux is flexibility for advanced users and developers. 
If you like Arch Linux for its rolling updates and vast repositories, but you also appreciate Debian's rock-solid stability for servers or core system libraries, Bedrock lets you mix these philosophies. You can keep critical components on a stable base while experimenting with newer software in a rolling release stratum. This can be particularly useful for development, testing, and learning, as you can quickly compare behavior across distributions on the same machine. Bedrock Linux is also interesting from an educational perspective. By using it, you gain a deeper understanding of how Linux distributions are structured and how they differ from one another. You become more aware of what parts of a system truly matter, what can be swapped out, and how Linux components interact. In many ways, Bedrock Linux exposes the modular nature of Linux more clearly than any single distribution ever could. That said, Bedrock Linux is not designed for beginners. While it can be incredibly powerful, it also requires a solid understanding of Linux fundamentals. Troubleshooting a bedrock system can be more complex than troubleshooting a standard distro, because issues might arise from interactions between strata rather than from a single unified environment. Documentation exists and is generally good, but users are expected to read carefully, understand what they are doing, and be comfortable with the command line. The installation process itself reflects this advanced focus. Rather than offering a graphical installer, Bedrock Linux is installed by downloading a script and running it on an existing Linux system. The script modifies the system in place, converting it into a Bedrock environment. While this process is usually safe when done correctly, it is not something that should be attempted casually or without backups. The Bedrock project strongly encourages users to practice on virtual machines before deploying it on their main system. Once installed, Managing a Bedrock Linux system involves learning a few new concepts and commands. The BRL command is central to Bedrock's operation, allowing you to manage strata, run commands within specific strata, and control how different parts of the system interact. There are also wrapper commands that help resolve conflicts when multiple strata provide the same binaries. For example, if both Arch and Debian strata have a program with the same name, Bedrock provides mechanisms to choose which one should be used by default. Updates in Bedrock Linux are handled at the stratum level. Each stratum updates itself using its native package manager. This means you might run Pacman, SU for Arch, apt update and apt upgrade for Debian or Ubuntu, and so on. While this gives you full control, it also means you must be disciplined about maintaining your system. Mixing rolling release and stable distributions requires awareness of potential compatibility issues, especially when shared libraries or system components are involved. Despite these challenges, many users find Bedrock Linux incredibly rewarding. It enables workflows that are otherwise difficult or impossible on traditional distributions. Power users who enjoy tinkering, experimenting, and optimizing their systems often find Bedrock Linux to be the ultimate expression of Linux freedom. Instead of being constrained by the decisions of a distro maintainer, you become the architect of your own operating system. From a philosophical standpoint, Bedrock Linux embodies the Unix and Linux ethos of composability and choice. It recognizes that no single distribution can be perfect for everyone or for every use case. Rather than trying to be the best at everything, Bedrock Linux provides the tools to let users choose what is best for them, piece by piece. In this sense, Bedrock Linux is less about providing a polished out-of-the-box experience and more about empowering users to create their own ideal environment. Performance-wise, Bedrock Linux is remarkably efficient. Because it does not rely on heavy abstraction layers, it runs applications at native speed. The overhead introduced by Bedrock's integration mechanisms is minimal and usually unnoticeable in day-to-day -day use. This makes it suitable even for performance-sensitive tasks, as long as the user configures it carefully. Security considerations in Bedrock Linux are similar to those in traditional Linux systems, but with added complexity. Each stratum has its own set of packages and update cadence, which means security updates must be managed diligently across all strata. However, this also allows users to choose security-focused distributions for certain tasks and more experimental ones for others, balancing risk and innovation. Over the years, Bedrock Linux has built a small but dedicated community. It is not a mainstream project, and it does not aim to be. Instead, it caters to a niche of advanced Linux users who appreciate its unique approach. The community tends to be technically knowledgeable and helpful, with discussions often focusing on creative use cases, 
troubleshooting complex setups, and exploring the limits of what Bedrock can do. In practical terms, Bedrock Linux shines in scenarios like development workstations, research systems, and enthusiast setups. Developers who need to test software across multiple distributions can do so without juggling multiple machines or virtual environments. System administrators can experiment with different toolchains while maintaining a stable core. Enthusiasts can simply enjoy the challenge and satisfaction of building a truly custom Linux system. However, it is important to be realistic about whether Bedrock Linux is right for you. If you want a simple, stable system that just works with minimal maintenance, a traditional distribution like Ubuntu LTS, Linux Mint, or Debian Stable is usually a better choice. Bedrock Linux demands attention, curiosity, and a willingness to solve problems. It rewards those qualities with unmatched flexibility, but it does not hide complexity. In the broader Linux ecosystem, Bedrock Linux represents an alternative vision of what a distribution can be. Instead of competing with other distros for users, it complements them, allowing their strengths to coexist. It challenges the assumption that choosing a Linux distro must be a permanent or exclusive decision. In doing so, it highlights just how modular and adaptable Linux really is. Ultimately, Bedrock Linux is about freedom in the deepest sense. Not just the freedom to modify source code, but the freedom to combine, adapt, and evolve your system in ways that fit your needs perfectly. It is a tool for those who see Linux not as a finished product, but as a set of building blocks. For users willing to invest the time and effort, Bedrock Linux can become the most powerful and personalized Linux experience available, turning the idea of which distro should I use into a question that no longer needs a single answer.